you want to say that, you know, you're all tough and macho with those situations. Fuck that. I shit my pants. I shit my pants. I, <laughs> I thought I was going to die. And he just kept saying, get in the car, get in the car. And I'm like, I'm not getting in the car. I thought if I get in that car, I'm a dead man. If they asked for my wallet, I would have given them a wallet or my phone or whatever. But they weren't asking for that. They were trying to tell me to get in the car, right? And I'm like, if I get in that car, I'm fucking dead. Simple as that. And when I was going through that, all I wanted to do, because I thought I was going to die. So I called my wife. I called my wife as, as, as I had a fucking gun to my head. I called my wife because I thought I just will tell the kids I love them because I'm going to fucking die. Do you know what I mean? Honestly. And then, and then as I was doing it, because I just like, as I was like, doing, you know, you just push a button on your phone and it starts to ring. And then I thought, what a fucked up thing to do. So, oh, by the way, I'm about to, I thought, I can't fucking do this phone call. So then I hung up, right? But he's still got the gun to my head and he's still going, no, 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 get in the fucking car. And then all the other people are talking to him. He's going, yeah, he doesn't know where he's going. And, right? And they start fucking arguing amongst themselves, right? But as, as, as I'm standing there with a the gun to my head, my wife's calling back, right? <laughs> Doing my fucking head in. She kept calling and calling. I'm like, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Fuck off. <laughs> Stop fucking interrupting me. But as I say, the guy with the gun was arguing with the homeless people. They were chatting. They're not the smartest people, let's be honest. <laughs> and when he wasn't looking at it, I just went, fuck off. I pushed him as hard as I could. He went, I mean, it was a good uh, push. He went fucking flying. <laughs> he went flying down the street and I just legged it. I bet your knees I felt fine when you were mate, doing that. <laughs> I have never ran so fast in my life. And I, they didn't even chase me, to uh, be honest. Who knows? Maybe there was, the gun was empty. You, you, do you think you could have died if he took you in the car? 100%. I think it was a ransom attempt. I, I don't know about that, but the, I, I, 100% I would have died. When the woman that picked me up to take me to uh, the set the next day, I said, uh, you know, I was all shook up. I got into the hotel room and I, <laughs> I, I fucking broke down. Do you know what I mean? I did. I was yeah. fucking upset. But when uh, the woman was driving me to set in the morning, I said, look, I told her what happened. She said, oh yeah, because she, she was a local woman. She said, yeah, we don't drive on the motorways from two o'clock in the morning to 6 a.m. I said, why is that? She said, because what they do is uh, they come out the townships, like two guys will grab a giant rock and they'll just dump it in the middle of the motorway. So someone will be driving along at night, not see a massive rock, hit that big crash. Then they run out the side of the motorway, fucking kill them and rob them. He said, life's cheap around there. He said, that, that's what they do. So 100%, if I'd have got in that car, I was a dead man. 